How's it going guys? Dylan from Luxury Lives On and I hope everyone's doing well today. Today we are doing something incredibly immature, something meant for, well, only adolescents in high school. We are of course doing a rev battle. We're doing a huge one with all of our cars. Every one of them in the driveway will be in this battle, except only one can be the winner. Think about this as being, well, American Idol for cars, except not the best sounding one wins, the loudest one wins. It says here you work as a wedding singer. I was. <laughs> How many ended in divorce? Now, as I'm sure you guys can tell, we have a rather eclectic collection. What does that mean? Well, variety. We have anywhere from a silent Rolls-Royce Phantom, to a vintage Porsche, to a screaming Aston, to a, well, electric i8. So it's gonna be very interesting to see the differences. And the way we're gonna measure this competition is we're gonna have a decibel reader, and it tells us exactly how loud each car is. All right, so we'll start in order with the Bentley. And at the end, I'll show you all the decibel readings and we can see, well, the winner. The Bentley is a car that, well, is unexpectedly loud. This actually could be quite some competition. It's got a twin turbocharged, six liter, W12, may I say any more? Now for the next car, it's our Rolls-Royce Phantom. And although it has a 6.75 liter naturally aspirated 12 cylinder, you shouldn't exactly have any expectations. As you know, Rolls-Royces are quiet and the Phantom, for instance, has actually four silencers on the exhaust. But, well, it should be a bit fun, shouldn't it? Next up is our vintage 1988 Turbo S. This is the old soul in our collection, but I think it might give some of them a little bit of trouble. You see, this actually has quite a loud sound to it, although it has one big, small limitation. You see, it's a four-cylinder, and that's not usually a recipe for window-shattering sound. Next up is the car that everyone knows as the spaceship, our BMW i8. And this is a controversial car based on sound because, well, part of it's exhaust and some of it may be speaker, although it sounds absolutely awesome. I don't think this car is going to break any sound records, but it should be noted that it does, in fact, sound, well, like a spaceship. Don't take this personally, but... Oh, oh, please. No, I mean it. You're one of the worst singers I've ever heard in my life. Okay, so I've left out our Aston and our M4 for a reason. We're saving the best for last. Those are obviously, well, the most obvious loud cars in the bunch. But let me tell you the standings as they stand. In a pathetic last place, we have our BMW i8 at 88.5 decibels. No harm to the i8, that's obviously not the point of the car, but that is, well, the place. In third place, quite obviously, is the Rolls-Royce that performed with kind of an awesome 100.1 decibels. Now in second place, we have our Bentley at 106.9 decibels. Surprising, I thought that car would be in first so far, 
But what is in first is our Turbo S, 108.1 decibels. Congratulations, but I think it will be short-lived. Let's check out the two loudest cars in a head-to-head -head rev battle. All right, guys, we've checked out the other cars, and unfortunately, I don't own those. Those are my family's, but I do own that Aston behind me, and he owns that M4. And I think my car is obviously louder. Mine is way, way, way louder. Okay, look, Laurent, there's only one way to settle this. We're going to actually do a rev battle, as I said, and the winner gets this on their car, and basically it means you're the bigger douchebag. <laughs> I have the results. What did you get? 120. 120, okay, so I have to beat that. And I think I did. My car was disgustingly loud, although yours was pretty loud too. Let's see. So 122.6, woo! Hey, welcome to Hollywood, Yo, Your car was, well, very obnoxious, but it turns out that my car is the douchiest, and what that means is I win this rev battle douchey ribbon, woo! Now, that obviously was insane and we're very lucky to be able to film all of these cars. As you can see, it's almost dark out. That's how long it took to film all of this today. And just a note, obviously this isn't scientific based on what I'm wearing. This is, you know, obviously an application we measured the decibel with. We even measured cars that you normally wouldn't do like a Rolls Royce or an i8, but who the hell cares? It was absolutely fun and awesome. If you guys liked this video, give it a like. If you want to see more of my content, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Is there anything that I can do to improve? Leave.